Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's topic, I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope everyone's day is going extremely well. And your journey to self-betterment is going in the right direction. Today I want to talk about how the narcissist can never ever 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 get enough narcissistic supply. And why this is important to you. You see, the narcissist will have moments in between what we call the narcissist's sweet mean cycle. Where they will behave sweet. In order to get you to drop your guard and get lured even deeper into this relationship you have with this individual. And oftentimes, the target of this treatment might think. Things will be different this time. That this person they are with might have seen the light and how they are treating them is hurting them and they are trying to do better this time. And this is where one of the first mistakes happen. You see. If you are dealing with someone. Let's say that treats you super super good for the first few months of knowing them. So much so you feel like you are floating on a cloud. Then out of literally nowhere they are yelling and screaming at you. Accusing you of all kinds of horrible things that aren't true. They gaslight you by saying you said things you never said. And denying things they clearly said. Sometimes things they just said 60 seconds prior. Now they have pulled back some on this behavior. And they are behaving for the moment nice. And you the target think. This person has changed. Or they see the error of their ways. Nothing can be further from the truth. However. What is true. Is all the screaming. Yelling. Accusing. Gaslighting. Carrying on and even crying. They literally and I mean literally they can't get enough of that. It feels their insides and allows them to make it through their day. Narcissistic supply is the narcissist's drug of choice or fuel that keeps them running. And they do not stop seeking it until they have taken their last breath on this earth. They don't turn around and say they are sorry at the very end and how they wish they could have done things differently. Now if they are healthy. They might say that as a ploy to get you suckered back into dealing with them. Only to go right back to their toxic terrible narcissistic behavior. You can't change these people. And that's the lesson that anyone dealing with them should completely and fully understand. It's been said before. These narcissists are like terminators. That they have to keep moving forward in order to get their desired objective. And in this case it's narcissistic supply. And if that means they have to fake. Like they are kind and caring. They will do it. In my last video. I talked about there was a story recently how this nice older woman took in this young woman I believe that was homeless. Now I don't know the full intents of the older woman that took her in. But what we do know is it's been said that the homeless woman did the worst of the worst. And this woman that took her in no longer has her life as a result. Now let's say things were on the up and up with this woman bringing her into her home giving her a second chance at life. A nice clean place to live. Sleep. Eat. Shower to stay clean. Who knows she might would have helped her to go back to school and find a job she could do. And a life she could one day build herself. But having someone help out and move them into their home wasn't enough. She needed supply by doing something very terrible. You see this is something that is extremely strange to you and I. There are some people on this earth that are literally addicted to the feeling of doing bad things to others. This might including sabotaging others work on the job site. So getting in the middle of and sabotaging a so called friends relationship they might have with their spouse. By making this person second guess everything about themselves in the relationship they have with their spouse. And it's this process of going about doing these things. And doing them without others knowing what they are doing is what charges their batteries. But here's thing you need to let ring loud and clear in your head. 
They simply can't get enough of this. They have to keep on upping the stakes higher and higher and they need more and more. This is why you see some narcissists doing the worst of the worst. Because they keep moving the goal post up not just for their prey to jump through. But the level of evil they do to others. And the more they don't get caught for their evil actions. The more they think they can lie and get away with things. This is why. If you are with a narcissist or someone you even remotely suspect is one. Get out as fast as you can. And like I said in the last video. If you can't get out this second. From this day forward. You need to be working hard. And I mean extremely hard with getting untangled the best you can from this individual and away from them in a short amount of time without looking back. But because it's said. Many narcissists don't commit such crimes. But yet the news is full of these stories. And some might say they are psychopaths. True true. Maybe. But what I believe is also true is a great many of them are narcissists that have just got worse over time. And they were able to skate through life getting everyone to believe their lies. And because of that their evil just got worse and worse. And before you know it they are doing the unthinkable. But never think it's going to stop with that one argument. Or today things will be better because it doesn't get better. It doesn't. It just gets worse and worse and worse. If you have ever talked to someone that has gone through this. Or heard a great many of the stories here online. The relationship usually starts out with heavy love bombing and then there is a super big argument out of nowhere. Usually about something meaningless. Such as being 5 minutes late for dinner. Then the narcissist will pull back and be nice for a while. Then another big argument will happen. And this cycle will go on and on. Until the arguments and mean treatment is more commonplace than the nice treatment. And then before you know it they are going after you every single day. Screaming and hollering at you until 4 in the morning every night. And the reason is. They can never get enough. And all the while they are doing all of this. They are grooming a few new victims. Have you heard of these stories? Where one spouse commits a horrible crime against the other. But then you find out there were three or four other people this narcissist was dealing with. And you just shake your head and think is that even possible. But this is the narcissist's need for supply that has taken over. They are always looking and scanning like have talked about before for anyone that might make a good prey item. And once they find someone that they think will be a good source of supply. They start their grooming process. And smarter narcissists can even do this with narcissists that aren't so smart. Also they can gain their supply. And put the blame on the other narcissist if things go sideways. So it's much better to abandon ship sooner rather than later. There is no need to see if an improvement will happen. Because it won't. The narcissist will pick you apart until there is nothing left. And then they will move on to the next target they have lined up. It's never enough. We've all seen our narcissists that were in our lives just do some horrible outrageous stuff. And think. There is no way on earth they can top that. And yet they top it nearly every time. And the reason why is the supply they just got wasn't enough because it's never enough. So they have to up the stakes and go for more supply and more supply and more supply. And knowing this will save you a lot of time and a lot of problems trying to save someone that can't be saved. And stop trying to fix someone that can't be fixed. But you can save and fix yourself. And that's the name of the game. And that's something the narcissist doesn't want you to know. Because if you feel like you have a shot at helping the narcissist. Then you might be more willing to engage in talks with them and stick it out longer with them. But if you understand what we are talking about right here. That you can't help the narcissist out not one bit. And they are never happy or satisfied with the narcissistic supply they have. And by you sticking around and engaging in dealing with them. You are just feeding the beast as we like to say in the narcissistic abuse community. And it will never end. Not until one of both parties are no longer on this earth. Or if the prey item gets smart and leaves for good. 
and hopefully you will understand what I'm saying here and get yourself free from such a toxic individual. And save your own very life. But don't worry. The narcissist will find someone else they can get supply from. They always will and they sadly always do. Because it's never good enough. And they can never have enough. They are always on empty trying to fill a hole. That can never be filled. And a thirst that can never be satisfied. Well that's all I have for now. Please comment and let me know your thoughts. Also don't forget to like share and subscribe. And if you would like to support even further you can do so by the way of Patreon. And for those that are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you. And with that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.